All right, we're doing an install video, N80 Hilux Predator Bar. So I how to do it, each step involved. First up, you need to open the bonnet and we're gonna take everything off the top. So all these little clips here, all you do is you push them. You see the button go in, you can pry it up. We have a nice neat little pry tool, but you can use a flathead side. Pull off the cover and then some screws on top to take out the grill. Now different Hilux years uh, are slightly different. So this is for an 18 to 20. Oops. So we can get all the under panel off and we can pull the bumper off and off the side. On the side of the car here, we're gonna pull out these clips here. There's one here, one there, using our pry tool or a flathead screw. Clips up, we can just pull them. See the whole car the bumper come off and we are going to unplug the fog light and do the same to the other side all right now we've got it peeled off make sure you unclip everything so like the bumper might catch on here and then the whole bumper comes off we are going to separate the grill now you see there's a couple clips here and underneath because the grill is going back on the grill separated we do need to take off these on both sides in the front we're going to remove this and the air guides i mean you can leave the top air guides in and trim it down for the bottom and take off the crash bar this is all that's protecting you in an accident we leave these for now but we are going to trim the panels later but undo all the clips a 14 mil socket That was done. This plastic panel here. There was a clip in the middle, screws on the outside. So we take all this under plastic off. So we're going to trim these air guides here so you can keep the top side in. So as long as you have two points holding, so we're just going to find the short distance there and just use a razor blade and trim. Next up, I'm going to put these side plates on. This is a fine thread M12. Uh, you can start by putting that one bolt in and then we're gonna put a nut plate through the chassis here with the two M12s on the side. Right, in preparing the bar, we need to put the cage nuts in before the bar goes on. All right, it's that Taking the side um, retainers for the bumper off, you turn the clip quarter turn and then you use your pry tool or a screwdriver at the same time to pull it up. And don't forget to take the bolt out there and then pop it off. Now we're putting on the actual bull bar mount itself. Reuse the bolts that came off holding the factory crash bar on. Two of them, hold it into place. Looking at this side, then we're gonna put the off-road animal supplied nuts and bolts here, here, and here so everything's loose at the moment so we need to put the mounts on and we're going to measure between the mounts and compare that to the bar so the bar goes on then you know it'll just slip on <clears throat> there is still as you can see adjustment left and right if you need to once you put the bar on so measure the bar measure the mounts tighten up a couple bolts on the mounts test fit to see how you're looking and then adjust as required on the update between 2018 and 2020 you do have to modify the grill there's a different cut depending if you have the radar in the middle or not this one doesn't have the radar so we're just going to take a line and cut all the way through and the bottom is discarded and the top goes on we're going to do that with an angle grinder all right with the grill cut we put the grill back on now and we can put all the bolts back in. And that's ready to go put the bar on. So you can lift this on with two people, but we cheat and use this hydraulic lifting table. And you basically drive the bar on. If you're not driving on, you can lift it on. Once you get into position through the mounts, you can see you just gotta slot it right past. All right, and then we adjust it so that we're happy on the side. We wanna have at least a 15 mil gap 
15 to 20 mil gap because your body moves separate to your chassis because it's on body rubbers. So you want to make sure you got a gap. Otherwise, your bull bar will take out your guards, take out your headlights. So make sure you got that gap. Now that we got the bar in position, we tighten the bolts. All right, this customer is not getting a light, but if you were getting a light, you would put it in from behind before you put a winch on. Also, this customer's not getting no winch, so we're just gonna put the mesh panels on. He's getting the top hoop, again, not getting a light. He's getting one himself later. So you just pop that on the top, bolt from the top, and you can get a nut from underneath. Time to put on the mesh panels. We have left, center, right. Well, it's actually opposite when you look at it. That's actually the right one left on the center number plate flips easiest if you put on the center panel now if you are fitting a winch put the fair lead on now again we're not fitting a winch this one so we'll just put the mesh panels on all right putting the center mesh panel on basically goes like that with that lip going underneath two m8 hex bolts and then the m8 by 16 button heads through the top there so when fitting the outside mesh panel remember that lip goes on the inside, all right, on the inside. Don't put the bottom bolts in yet because it's also going to hold the bash plate. So we put one up the top, one on the side to hold it in place. Once they're all in, we can tighten them. Mesh panels in. By the way, this is access to the winch on both sides. Time to put in the fog light mounts. Let's have a look at the fog light mount here. So you have our bracket attached to our mesh panel here factory fog light goes in so you got the two m8s at the top and the m6s over there line up that one there that bottom left one there m6 there and we'll put it in from behind line up at least one bolt put your nut on and once that's started a hole in place then you can put the other ones in Time to plug the fog light in. If you find you don't have enough slack, you can remove the retainer. And you easily have enough slack then. Put the bash plate on. So we lift up the bash plate. Oh, before we forget, we're gonna put the shim panels in between there. All right, we're putting the bash plate on now. In between the bash plate and the mesh panel, we do have a shim panel, which brings it up. And uh, we're putting the uh, M8 button heads through and the um, flange on the back side. Bolt goes through the bash plate into the mount. It is a button head hex. Sorry, not hex, button head cap screw. And that's the bash plate on. Next, under panel. So, all the bash plate bolts are loose so you get them all in. Once you get them all in, then you can start tightening. All right, putting on the under panel. Basically, we're gonna hold it up into position, pushing the um, wheel well liner back. Start a couple bolts towards the front of the bull bar and leaving it loose. Then you'll be able to trim enough of the wheel well liner so it can go behind that lip there. And the wheel well liner will be held up by the panel. All right, we've got one bolt holding it on. It's loose. As you can see, the wheel well liner. Basically, the wheel well liner needs to be pinched up there by the under panel. So probably about 30, 40 mil will cut down the angle. So okay, good. so we've trimmed a little bit more than the 40 mil. So just enough to go behind there and hold behind that lip there. As you can see, it allows us to have that firmly held in place. Finish off, don't forget to put your front number plate on the flip. Don't forget to put your logo there. And there's one extra bolt underneath in the back of the panel. And we'll put this back on here, close the bonnet and we'll be finished. All right, we do need to put on the compliance plate. I generally put it well underneath, out of harm's way, and then you don't have to see it in your face all the time. And if a cop wants to see it to say it's show it's compliant, you can show.